New at five, the eastern band of Cherokee Indians say land near Talico belongs to them. They signed an agreement with the federal government 36 years ago. Now they want the feds to honor that agreement. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot toured the land and explains why the Native Americans say they're entitled to it. Vinay. Beth, we're talking about land along the Little Tennessee River and the Teleco Reservoir in Monroe County. The Cherokee tribe agreed to move out by 1819 through an agreement with the federal government. Now in the 80s, the government agreed to return this land to the Cherokee Indians, but that has, hasn't happened yet. Ha, hi, he, ho. At a museum dedicated to a man who put the Cherokee language to paper. How important was that to the Cherokee tribe? They now could communicate. Now trying to honor a written agreement with the United States. It's been 36 years. The Cherokees use this land to remember their ancestors. This memorial was created uh, to rebury, reinter those Cherokee ancestors. To show how the Cherokee wrote, how they lived. We're trying to preserve that history. In the 1980s, the Carter administration signed an agreement with the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. It would take this land and put it into a permanent easement controlled by the TBA. The parties agreed it would then be transferred to the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians in a trust. That hasn't happened yet. You're walking on Cherokee gravel, you're walking on Cherokee grass, um, but you stick your finger in TVA dirt. The Eastern Band wants the government to honor that agreement. But it will be under control of the Eastern Band, which will be preserved it just exactly the way it is. So they can take care of their land. It's a feeling you get when you're standing here on these lands, that knowing that this was your ancestors that roamed here thousands of years ago. And return those before them to their rightful place. This will become Cherokee soil, and so the ancestor will be buried in Cherokee soil. In the last session, the congressman who represents that area introduced a bill to transfer 76 acres in Monroe County to the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. That passed the House 407 to 16. The congressman, now it's stuck in committee in the Senate. The congressman says he will reintroduce it if it doesn't pass in the Senate. The TVA also says it's committed to working towards a solution for all parties. Beth? All right, Vinay, with the story, thank you.